Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Flying Fids. I'm Juan and we have pineapple and pumpkin here. For this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make really easy, cheap, and do-it-yourself foraging ideas and some toys that you can make with items around your house. And we're also going to be repurposing some old toys as well. So let's get into it. Foraging is really great mental stimulation for your birds and there are some really pricey foraging toys out there, but I think it is worth investing in one or two of those foraging toys. And on top of that, you can make your own foraging toys that are going to be a lot cheaper and you can actually use foraging toys to keep your birds occupied so you can do other tasks around your house as well um, if that's what you want to do. So for the first one, this one's a foraging idea and this one is super simple. You're just going to need two things for this one. The first thing that you'll need are Nutriberries or your bird's favorite treats. You can also use nuts or spray millets. For the spray millet, you're going to have to cut those into smaller pieces. And then you're also going to need cupcake liners. I only had white ones, but if you have different colored ones or even patterned ones as well, you can also use those because those are going to be a lot more fun and intriguing for your bird. So the first thing that you want to do is take a cupcake liner and place your treat inside then you're just going to wrap the liner around the treat and then you're basically done so you can place this in your bird's food bowl maybe in their play gym and you can also place it on your desk if you're trying to get some work done so this will keep them a little occupied so you do want to make a couple of these for the last toy that I'm going to show you how to make moving on to the second foraging idea for this one I'm going to show you how you can make two different versions so what you're going to need are coffee filters so if you don't drink coffee I actually don't drink coffee but I just got it for this video. You can either use white copy paper or even newspaper. You're also going to need a stainless steel food bowl, wooden or plastic balls from old toys, a rubber band, some crinkle paper or newspaper that is cut into strips. You're also going to need something to put into the bowl so I'm going to be using pellets but you can also use treats as well. The first thing that you want to do is take the food bowl with the pellets or treats inside and then just place the filter or the paper on top and form it around the food bowl and then you're going to secure it with the rubber band. I also forgot to mention that you're going to need something to poke holes into the paper that way you're making it easier for your birds to rip up the paper and it's also going to allow them to see what's inside of the bowl. So I'm going to be using a chopstick to poke a few holes into the paper. You can also use a scissor but if you have a hole puncher then that will work really great as well. So this is the first version that you can make. For the second version if you want to make it a little harder for your birds to rip up the paper then you can either add another layer of filter paper or you can also add other things like some wooden or plastic balls also some crinkle paper or newspaper and then you're just going to place the filter over the top again and secure it with the rubber band and after that you're just going to ease the food bowl back into the food bowl holder now you don't want to leave the rubber band behind because it's not something that you want your birds to chew on so make sure to remove that after you place the food bowl back into the holder I really love this idea because it's going to make your birds really work for their food just like they would if they were still in the wild. If your birds are a little bit confused or they don't know what this thing is that you put into their cage, then you, you can make larger holes into the paper and then as they get used to it, you can make the holes smaller and smaller so that they know that they have to rip the paper to get to the food. For the third one, this one is a foraging toy. This one is my favorite because we're going to be repurposing some old toys that you have lying around and we all know that bird toys can get really expensive because you are going to have to replace them every time they get worn out and to also get them new toys so that they don't get bored. For this toy you want to use any old wooden toys that you have lying around and that maybe your bird doesn't really play with. You're also going to need a drill and drill bits that is a little smaller than the seeds that you're going to need for this as well. You're just going to drill random holes all throughout the toys and if you're scared about using a drill or you don't know how to use one then you can ask your mans or your womans and if you don't have one then uh sorry and uh single life forever i'm just kidding <laughs> but you can ask your parents or your friends or your siblings or whoever you live with to help out. The reason why you want to use a drill bit that is a little smaller than the seeds that you're going to be using for this toy is so that the seeds can fit snugly inside the holes and so it's not as easy for your birds to get out. So after you're done drilling, you can just stick all of the seeds into the holes and then you can hang this inside of your bird's cage. Also, another fun thing you can do is if you have any other old wooden pieces laying around from old toys, then you can also drill holes into those and 
and string them together to make a brand new toy. And if you have smaller wooden toys that can be used as foot toys, you can also drill holes into those as well. So for the fourth one, this one is a foraging idea. So what you're going to need are your bird's favorite veggies and fruits as well and wooden skewers. So what you're going to do for this is you're basically just going to put the veggies and fruits onto the skewers and that's about it. For this one, you can just place it on a plate for your birds to eat. Moving on to the last and final thing that we're going to make. This one is a foraging toy and this one is my absolute favorite. So for this one, the first thing that you'll need are the cupcake liner treats from the first foraging idea that we made. Also a paper bag, a metal wire from an old toy. So the wire is just going to be used to help you hang the toy after you're done making it. But if you don't have a wire from an old toy, you can also use spare clips that you have lying around from old toys. You're also going to need finger traps from old toys, spray millets, also crinkle paper or newspaper strips, and extra pieces from old toys. Now the first thing you want to do is open up the paper bag and using the wire you're going to poke a hole into the bottom of the bag. So what I did was I placed a wooden toy piece at the bottom for stability and then I placed the wire back into the hole and through the bag. Now you're just going to start stuffing your bag with all of your items. So I placed some crinkle paper and some newspaper into the bag along with the cupcake liner treats that we made. Also some extra pieces from old toys and more paper at the top. Now after you've done that, you want to pull the wire out a little bit and fold the bag down and then use the end of the wire to poke a hole through the bag to secure it shut. So it should look something like this. Then what you want to do is take your finger trap and your spray millet and you're basically just going to stick the spray millet into the finger trap. It'll be easier to place the spray millet inside if you squeeze the finger traps together from the end. So I wanted some of the crinkle paper to stick out of the bag so what I did was I took a knife and I poked some holes into the bag and I thought it would be fun to put the finger traps through the holes as well. So I did that and then I shoved crinkle paper into the holes to finish it off. At the end you want to bend the wire at the top so it forms a loop and then you're going to use a clip from an old toy to hang this in your bird's cage. So I basically winged this toy and this is probably my favorite mainly because it's going to take a while for my birds to get to the treats inside of this bag and they're going to have a blast playing with it. So I guess when it comes down to making your own toys there's really no wrong way to do it just be as creative as you'd like and make sure that you're using bird safe materials. Don't forget to like and share this video if it inspired you to create your own foraging toys for your birds. And also comment down below and let me know what your birds favorite treats are and if you're going to make some of these toys right now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and also hit that notification bell and select all notifications so you get notified every time we post a new video. But yeah, that's it for this video. Okay, bye.